Did you talk about turning cold water on? No. Oh. No. <laughs> the first thing. <laughs> so we'll uh... <laughs> reshoot this. So today we're going to talk about the rotary evaporator, also known as the Rotovap. It's generally used to obtain your product by removing the solvent. It does this by reducing the pressure inside your round bottom flask, but it also increases the surface area through rotation, um, and you can also heat your solvent. The first thing you want to do is turn your cold water on gently, close your stopcock at the top of the condenser, um, and then you can take your splash trap and put it here, and you want to hold it because there's nothing um, keeping it there right now. And then you take your round bottom flask with your solution, bottom, and then you turn your vacuum. Once it gets to minus 10, you can turn your rotation on. If you wait too long um, to start your rotation, you run the risk of um, your solution bumping into your splash trap and losing some of your product. So once you have your um, round bottom flask rotating, you can lower it into the hot water bath um, and increase the speed of the rotation. Um, but today, because we're using a low boiling point solvent, we don't need to turn the heat on. So now that we have our product, we can remove the round bottom flask from the rotovap. So you want to hold this because you don't want it to fall. And release the stopcock and shut your vacuum off. And you can remove your round bottom flask and put it in a beaker. Any solvent that you removed would be in this receiving flask, so you want to dispose of that properly in the correct waste disposal in the fume. And make sure to turn the water off. And that's how you use the rotovap.